Greetings, humans and Gagugians. This is just a quick video to wish you a happy holiday season. I don't know if you can see it yet in my face, but I've lost 10 pounds in the past four or five weeks. I've been working hard at, uh, at getting my weight and health under control in this human body. It's been challenging, but uh, I think I've got some stuff figured out. And I'll talk about that just a little bit in the the rest of the video. Well, in the past, I have talked about how I wanted to take better care of my human body. And I've made some promises, some predictions, and I've always failed miserably. And it's embarrassing. Uh, but this time, I want to do the same thing, but I, I don't want to make any promises at all. I'm just going to... You know what? What I did do is I went shopping and I bought some healthy food for the next week. And I, I went to the Brain Feed and I checked out meal prep. Now, it's a bit intimidating, like if you think about, like, for the next month, I'm going to meal prep, and I need all these spices, and they're $10 each, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit uh, crazy, everything you need, and it's a little overwhelming, and I'm not the most, I'm not the best cook in the world. I can follow a recipe okay. So basically, what I did was I decided I'm just going to find one recipe that I that looks really good, that I feel like, you know, I went last week and I bought some salads, bags of salad, and I thought, well, I'm just going to eat salad. And it was very unsatisfying. Sal a salad is not a meal to me. That's just like a little side, that's a side thing. So it had to be better than a salad. And uh, the, the meal that I found that I'm going to do this week is definitely better than a salad. It looks very... Filling and satisfying, I think, from the from the way it looks. It's not my recipe. It's something I found online, and I'll, I'll if I like it, I'll post a link to it below so you can go check it out on the other person's site. But basically, it involves butternut squash made into like spaghetti, um, rice, cauliflower, chicken sausage, and she said to get clean sausage. Uh, I don't know if this is clean. It's organic. And, and then the odd ingredients is blueberries. It, blueberries also go in this dish. Weird, right? But it seems like it could be good. So that's, uh, that's the dish I'm going to make this week. And I'm going to try to make about, you know, five or six of them or so. So I'll have lunch or supper uh, prepared for the next week. So I won't have to worry about that meal. And I'll eat something healthy. Also... Uh, I heard that sauerkraut, like uh, fermented foods are supposed to be good for you, but you're supposed to get the good sauerkraut. Uh, I don't know if I got the good one. It's in the, it was in the refrigerated section at Trader Joe's. That, that part is important, I know. There were some brands that I found on a particular place on the, in the brain feed uh, that I will, you know, check out and I'll post some links down below. So that's what I'm going to try to do this week is to introduce some some new foods into the into the old human body and see how it goes. Oh, I also got these these juices at Trader Joe's. I got this green juice. I got this red juice. So I'm going to have like a, a shot of each to start the day, just so I you know I start with something healthy in the body. I've had these before. It's, it tastes fine. I don't, you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but if you just like chug it down, then, you know, you've got the, those good juices and it's doing their work. <laughs> oh boy. Why is it so hard? Why is, why does bad food taste so good to me? I don't know. Does it taste good to, to you too? Anyway. Uh, good food does taste good. Usually it tastes really good if somebody else is cooking it. That's what I've noticed. See, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Should have prepared those onions ahead of time. Drats! 
You know, cutting these onions is making me a little bit emotional. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... This dish turned out really well. I liked it a lot. And I also, about a week and a half later, made the other dish in this human lady's recipe video. And I'll link the video below. Well, I I've lost eight pounds recently. And I seem to be able to sort of stick to this new regime. We don't like the word diet, do we? There's this new way of thinking, regime, whatever, for uh, about a month now. And it seems to include four different prongs. That's five, four different prongs, if you will. Uh, I should say up front that I'm not a, a health expert in any way, shape, or form. I'm learning this stuff. I don't know anything. I. I'm learning this stuff as I go along to see what works. I've been taking in a lot of things on the, in, in the brain feed, on the internet, that sort of thing, to try and figure out how to get this body back towards where it used to be. Obviously, I'm older now, so it will never be all the way back, but I can get healthier, definitely, than what I am now. So, for the four prongs, one, meal prep. I get very lazy for some reason around mealtime, and if I have something ready to go that's delicious, then I will eat it. Number two, I have a sweet tooth, I have a sugar problem, but I've come up with a couple of recipes for something sweet. Uh, one of them is, is these chocolate brownies that are, uh, the base is sweet potato. So they do have a little bit of sugar in them, but not nearly as much sugar as I was eating before. And um, they got no white flour in them. There's all sorts of contradictions online about what you should and what you shouldn't eat. You never know what to believe. Some people tell you one thing, some people tell you another thing. But it seems like adding healthy whole foods into the diet, some vegetables, some fruit, some protein, all that. That seems like a good plan and uh, avoiding fast food and a lot of sugar seems like a good plan. Walking seems like a good plan. That's another part of the prong. And one of the things I'm doing is I'm walking about an hour a day. So mixing things up today to have a really wonderful walk. And here's where we're going. Well, if you have to get your steps in, well, <laughs> that was a big wave. That's cool. Water's cold. You definitely need a wetsuit if you're going out there, but you get used to it on your feet and shins. Whoa! I got wet on that one. <laughs> My groinal area got wet on that one. <clears throat> you know what I was about to say is if you're if you need to take your steps, uh, what better place to do it than here on the beach? It's nice being in California for a little bit. another prong. Well, I heard that you should eat fermented foods. Sometimes I'll have a, a, a chicken sausage 
I try to get the healthiest kind of chicken sausage I can find. And I'll kind of fry that up a little bit. It's pre-cooked, so it really doesn't need to be fried. And then I'll uh, eat that with a little sauerkraut and maybe a little mustard. And it's kind of like a hot dog without the bun. And I like that. And that's why I'm eating some fermented stuff there. And, you know, I, I have been having problems with heartburn. Wow, that keeps turning on with my head. For some time, and my heartburn is a, is a lot better the last three weeks or so. <laughs> so, so that's a good thing. And my stomach, my digestion is still kind of trying to figure out what the heck is going on. There's, there's another prong, I feel like. What's the other prong? Oh, I'll come up with it. Oh, I know what it is. It's uh, intermittent fasting. And by that, I don't mean no eating. I mean just cutting the window a little bit. So I try to stop eating around 7.38. I'm a night owl, so I go maybe a little bit later than normal people. And then I try not to eat until 1 or 12, maybe, maybe noon to 1 the next day. I don't usually feel super hungry first thing in the day, just normally for some reason. I usually like to snack at night. And that is the hardest part of all of this, is my desire to snack at night after I've begun my fast. That's the most challenging part of this, i got to say. But I really want to take care of this human body. I'd like to keep using it for a while before switching. So, so that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do. Thanks for watching. I hope that you're taking care of your human body out there just as I am attempting. No promises, but it's going well so far to take care of my human body. And I will see you in a couple of weeks. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Coffee and some bread.